They all think we're weird. Hello, my name is Kelsey O'Connor and welcome to my channel. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a Canadian YouTuber. I do the fitness thing and I like to eat a lot. What did I decide to do? Why not? I just show you guys Canadian treats. Treats you can only get here. Our delicacies. What we are known for. What we live off. Yes, thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. We don't actually eat that much of this, but it's only unique to us and we do eat it, maybe not. A, and at the end of the day, why am I doing this? Entertainment. But in reality, it's very selfish and I just want an excuse to eat junk food at 11 a.m. We're back and we got the goods. We got the chocolates, we got the chips, we got the baked goods, we got the poutine, we got the holy grail. Apparently we have a lot of chocolate bars that are unique to us. And some that are legal in the States, but we can have. They're not really ours. You guys can't have it. We can. Just like weed. <laughs> now everyone's gonna think I'm high doing this. I'm not. It's a big crunch. It's crispy, got a crunch. Always broken down the center, every time. This one, it's got like a peanut butter brittle inside and then like a harder toffee outside. Crunch. These are the ones you hated as a child for Halloween trick-or-treating. You got it, you became an adult, you love it. That's so good. Peanut butter, a little crunchy. Freaky. <laughs> crunchy? We literally have a bar called Crunchy. Apparently we have a thing for crunch here. What is this bad boy? Big yes. Down in the comments. Sponge toffee. It's crunchy. It's hard. <laughs> it's like airy. A little crunch and then soft on the outside. Another thing I was indifferent about and I assumed I hated as a child until one day I tried it and I was like, actually this is scrumptious. Mars bar. What is it like? Take a guess. My American friends, it probably looks familiar, but it looks the knockoff version, but it's the better version. I think you guys call it a Milky Way. Is it ready? It's like a Milky Way, but I think we got more of the nuggety goodness. This is one I loved a lot as a child. This was like a top four, but it slowly has lost its touch. I like things like this now, and the, the first ones more, but as a child, this was like top three, and now I'm just like, ah, uh. toffee crisp. Another one I assumed I hated till grade six, and then one time I was really hungry on a way to a camping trip, and someone gave me one. It's super airy. It's like a Kit Kat, but it's got little layers of something in it, and it's coffee flavored. This goes lovely with coffee. It actually isn't that coffee flavored. Like it's got a little hint. Now I'm like, is it just like a Kit Kat? We're gonna take a break for the chocolate and we're gonna segue to savor. Chips! Ruffles, Lay. Bet you don't have these. All dress. It's a flavor, but the like iconic all dress chips is the Ruffles. It's one of those things you don't know the flavor of. Like you just think all dress. For the longest time I just assumed it was every flavor as a child. That's what we all thought. But now upon reflection, I do think it is Vinegar, onion, and red pepper. Because I see that, and that actually describes the taste. It's got a vinegary kick, like salt and vinegar, but you can eat a lot more. Like salt and vinegar, you only have a few, and it sandpapers your mouth. These you can have a lot. It's like a vinegary barbecue chip. A little bit of onion. Ketchup chips. Y'all think we're crazy till you try it. We're crazy. ASMR. So you want it like this. You want it like. I just made a really bad reference, but it looks like a scene from Dexter. See, that's how a proper ketchup chip should be. They all think we're weird. I'm like, who would have ketchup? But here's what I'm gonna shoot you with, so you're gonna think it's good. You guys like hot dogs and hamburgers. I'm speaking to Americans. And then sometimes you get crazy and put regular chips on said hamburger and hot dog. Sounds crazy, we've all done it at the crunch. We've just become efficient in Canada. We said, oh, screw all those extra things. We're just gonna combine it in one chip. Efficiency is key, people. I think those are only like the two really iconic chips to us. Poutine is savory. We'll get we'll get to that. We have three more chocolate bars. Caramel. This is the caramel caramel. Is it caramel or caramel? We spell favorite without the U. Or no, we have a U. So you uh, say F A V O R I T E, and we spell F A V. O U R I T E. And the best part is, in Canada we accept both because we just are like, kind of like, oh yeah, we're our own people, but we're also American in some weird way. Since a young child, I'm chronically confused, which is right. Oh, please break, please be good. Oh, that did not do it. Suspense, drum roll. No, it was an utter fail. <laughs> you see? But I feel back in the day, they were bigger and there was a lot more, and you could go like, like the Mars. You, it should have done that. Advertising fails us again. It's 
Smarties. We have M&Ms, but we also have Smarties, which are very similar. It's a bit different color palette, thinner and wider. Best way to describe it, similar chocolate. There's more candy coating, less chocolate than an M&M, than an M&M, than an M&M, whoa. Than an M&M, than an M&M, than an M&M, than an M&M. Confession, I like M&Ms better. Smarties are good, but they're always eaten last in Halloween trees, always at the end. Visual representation of the Mars bar. Coffee crisp, crunchy, crispy crunch. Mars bars, Smarties. Kinder surprise. You might have seen them. I think this is a European thing, technically. But I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I heard this, I don't know if it's a rumor, you can't have them in the States. And I heard it's because, I'll show you. This is where the surprise comes from. See, it's an egg. This is great chocolate. Mm. Milk chocolate on the outside, white chocolate on the inside. I believe this is why they're illegal. I heard, is this a rumor? Comment below. It's because these are a choking hazard, they say in America, so you guys heard a lot of it because you can't handle that. Us in Europe and Canada can. But you get a little toy. Teach you how to build it. Whoa. This I built. <laughs> Guys, this I built like I built the wings to the I know. Now since I decided to film this video, I've been fearing this moment. This is a Nainamo, 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 Nainamo bar. I can't say it. They're delicious. The most sugary thing of all time. Like this will give you a sugar coma like you had never known. It just looks like a brownie. Just you wait. These are like, oh. The only way to describe it is it's like a vanilla -y flavor inside. And kind of like the bottom, it's, I don't know, it's got like a nougaty macaroony bottom and then like a fudgy chocolate top. Dear fellow Canadians, did I describe that right? Mm. Mm. We interrupt this program to play a game called How Long Can Kelty Balance a Square on Her Head? I'm gonna take this box and try and balance it on my head the entire time. Squarespace is a beautiful website that you can create your own website. Yes, you just go online and you can create your own beautiful website, online tool. It's got marketing analytics, whatever it is that you need to build a website and have a beautiful online presence. If you're not online, you don't exist in 2019. There's SEO optimizing tools. People Google things. Say you're a nail tech and you're like, oh, I wanna be a nail tech. Googling nail techs. Blah, blah, blah. You wanna be at the top when people Google that. I have no idea to do that. That sounds really complicated. I like balancing a box on your head, which isn't too complicated. It's just weird. Maybe that's your skill in life. I don't judge. But if you want to do that, you want a website, you want to be at the top of Google, you need SEO optimizing tools, and Squarespace has that built right in. We all have special skills, and we all want them marketed, and Squarespace is the perfect place. So maybe you're better at gymnastics, or cutting hair, or walking dogs, and not balancing boxes on your head. Whatever it is, it works for you. It is easy importing. Yes, if you have anything on Facebook, on well, this wasn't as easy as it looked. But if you want easy importing from things like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you can easily import it right on your sure website, sell online products. If you have a special skill that you want marketed to the world and you want to create your own online platform, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to www.squarespace.com slash keltyoconnor to receive 10% off your website domain. And I really hope your skill is more than balancing a square on your head. Um, because you'll probably go farther in life. Or you could be like me. You sit alone in an apartment attempting to read an ad read as you balance a square in your head. You know, we all have hopes and dreams. You guys didn't know what poutine is? Poutine, poutine. Technically from Quebec, which is the province. America has states, we have provinces. Quebec, they speak French and they don't like the rest of Canada. Sorry if you're from Quebec and hearing this, but it's true. Learn about Canadian history. We're just a little torn. They speak French, the rest of us don't really. It's French fries, gravy, cheese curds. It is great drunk food. It hits. It's way better in Quebec, I will say. I've consumed this so many times when I was drunk in college, but confession, I hate the cheese curds. Like, I like when it like melts. I didn't eat this right away, but it will get like stringy, you'll pull it, and that's when the cheese is good. Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, see, that's when I want a piece of the cheese. But you'll never see me just be like, a hunk of that, like, no, it's not happening. You can get crazy and add different flavors to it and make it different ones, which isn't authentic, but great. And this is, I think, the first time I've ever had poutine sober. So it feels a little weird to be having it 1 p.m. on a Tuesday. Am I mad? Not at all. Not very attractive thing to eat on camera, I'm sorry. For the moment you've all been waiting for. What Canada runs off? Tim Hortons. This is what we call a Tim. I believe you in America call it a donut hole. This is iconic. When you were growing up and your parents would go to Tim Hortons to get their double double, you just prayed for them to get Tim. And then like the cool parents would get the like 40 pack or a 60 pack, and then if you had a sporty event, like I play basketball, you know, everyone in Canada plays hockey. I can't skate. This is like what all the parents would bring, and guys, oh, 
I wish you could smell it. It just smells like, oh, Canadian morning coffee, maple syrup, multiple different flavors. We got just the honey dip, birthday cake, sour cream unglazed, sour cream glazed. Here's a tip. These are the ones people want first, and these are stolen. This is a basic donut honey dip. It's kind of last. And these are always like, who the heck likes them? These are just for grandparents with their coffee, and no kid ever has it. There's no sugar in This is the lamest donut. It's like bread, so it's good because I like bread. Next up, honey dip. Oh, yeah. It's lame. They like give these away for free. Honestly, it's like you have it because you want something sweet, but at no point I'm like, yes, I need my honey dip donut. Oh. So this is a birthday cake. Brought them as like a seasonal thing and they stayed, so obviously they're popular. I think they got sprinkled inside. It tastes like confetti. Life is great. I realized they didn't give me a sour cream glaze, which was one of the best ones. But in essence, the pumpkin slice is just like the pumpkin flavored version of it. Like they're the same, but that one's so good, but they must not have it. Sometimes you go to some Tim Hortons and they have all the selections. Sometimes they have next to none. Oh, she's pumpkin spice. Oh yeah. Basic these with love these. And then the iconic one, the one that kids usually go for first. She's just rich. This was some coffee. Mm. And that's how we do it in Canada. Some people like them and some people don't. On reflection, I had nothing with maple syrup. I failed our country. I apologize. Typical Canadian fashion. I'm sorry. <laughs> but this makes me think, would you guys like me to do bring you on like a typical Canadian breakfast? Or Canadian dinners? I feel well versed because I have lived like East Coast, West Coast, and prairies. So I've kind of like experienced all the different delicacies because there's different ones. Like what I was saying, pertaining from Quebec, then like out east in Halifax, like lobster and lobster rolls and donairs are really big. It's just different. There's Alberta beef from where I'm from. So if you want a good steak, sorry everyone in the States, you've never experienced Alberta beef. I will say that with great authority. So if you guys want me to do this and make this little nationwide tour, I actually bring you out to restaurants that comment down below. I'd love to do this because this is just like excuse to eat good food. Because the diets are good to show nutrition and balance and that, but also like your girl likes to eat. So this is fun. Thank you for tuning in. Like always, if you guys are new here, feel free to hit subscribe and join a little shamble squad. Ooh, it's all hitting right now. Hope you have a great day. Go pet a dog.